ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக வெல்கம் டு ஆர் ஆன்லைன் லேர்னிங் இனிஷியேட்டிவ் ஏ கலைவா so far we have discussed about direct current but in this chapter we are going to discuss about alternating current alternating current is a current which continuously varies in magnitude and periodically reverses its direction so what is this alternating current so alternating current can be represented like this children actually this is omega t and we have studied about this ac generator in the previous chapter itself so this will be the emf okay so this alternating current or alternating voltage is a one which continuously varies in magnitude which continuously varies in magnitude okay so it varies in magnitude and periodically reverses its direction okay so during one cycle the current or voltage first rises from zero to maximum okay so here it rises from zero to maximum in one direction and falls to zero then it becomes maximum in the reverse direction so like this and again falls to zero okay so at any instant the ac voltage is given by at any instant ac voltage is given by v is equal to vm sin omega t what is this uh, v here actually v is a instantaneous value of alternating voltage and vm is a peak value vm is a peak value of ac ac voltage and omega t omega t is a phase of alternating voltage okay so it is a phase of alternating voltage if we assume r is a resistance of the circuit then we know v by r is equal to v by r is equal to vm divided by r sin omega t or we can also write what is v by r we know that i that is current voltage by resistance is nothing but current so i is equal to i m sin omega t so here what is i i is nothing but instantaneous value of alternating current okay so it is a instantaneous value of ac current and similarly i m is a peak value of alternating current okay. 
the peak value of alternating current and again omega t is the phase of the alternating current and already we know that what is this omega children omega is nothing but angular velocity right so omega is the angular velocity all these things already we have discussed in the previous chapter itself angular velocity or we can write that omega is equal to 2 pi divided by t or which can also be written as 2 pi nu okay which is called as the driving frequency and we know that in india what is this uh, frequency frequency is 50 hertz so already we have discussed about all these things in our ac generator itself so in this topic we are going to first discuss about the very very important uh, thing which is nothing but root mean square value and peak value of alternating current this root mean square value which is also called as rms value that is virtual value or effective value so now let us see uh, what is this uh, rms value of ac actually this value is that steady current which would produce the same heat in given resistance in a given time as is done by the alternating current when passed through the same resistance for the same time and how can you represent this rms value actually this value is represented as i rms or else we can also represent like i virtual or this may also be represented as i effective so what is this rms value children once again i'll repeat it it is a steady current which would produce the same heat in given resistance in a given time as is done by the alternating current when passed through the same resistance for the same time now we already familiar with how can you represent this alternating current actually this alternating current is represented by i is equal to i am sin omega t so you are familiar with this now let us consider dq be the amount of heat produced by this current in resistance r in a very small time dt then how can we represent this dq we know that dq is equal to i square r into dt so this dq is nothing but what it is a amount of heat produced by the current okay and r be the resistance here in a small interval of time dt now in order to calculate the total quantity of heat produced over one complete cycle okay so we need to calculate the total heat produced over one complete cycle okay so we are going to integrate it so when you integrate this dq you will get q and we are going to integrate this over the period of one cycle okay so from 0 to t i square r into t so here what is this t t is nothing but time period of alternating current that is uh, time taken to complete one cycle okay so let me write here this capital t is nothing but time taken to complete one cycle
so we are going to integrate it now children q is equal to integral 0 to t and already we know that what is this i i is nothing but i m sine omega t so we are going to substitute it here i m sine omega t the whole square into r into dt okay so let us integrate this integral zero to t i m square into r sine square omega t dt so q is equal to uh, can we take this uh, i square uh, r out of that integral yes so i m square r take it out of the integral because we cannot integrate that term 0 to t we are going to integrate only sine square omega t dt so now first uh, how can you write this uh, sine square omega t children sine square omega t can be written as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 so first we are going to take this part alone now integral let us integrate it sin square omega t is equal to into dt okay so because we are going to integrate it now integral 0 to t when you integrate this so 1 minus this can be sin square omega t can be written as 1 minus cos 2 omega t divided by 2 this is a trigonometric formula you are familiar with that okay so now let us integrate this so when you integrate this so actually uh, 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 right so uh, we can write that 0 to t this 1 by 2 into dt will be the first part minus integral 0 to t cos 2 omega t divided by 2 into dt okay so we can write here itself children again here 1 by 2 you cannot integrate it you have to integrate only this dt term alone so when you integrate this dt what will you get t and between the limits okay so we are going to put the limits also here 0 to okay then again here cos 2 omega t by 2 right so again uh, you can take this uh, 2 out of the integral so take this uh, 1 by 2 then you have to integrate only this cos 2 omega t when you integrate it you will get sin 2 omega t divided by 2 omega between the limits again 0 to t okay so hope you all of you understood up to this so what will you get now half so you are going to substitute here upper limit is t lower limit is 0 so what will you get t minus 0 so this is our first part am i right yes minus Take this uh, 2 omega also here. So, what will you get? 1 divided by, divide by already you have 1, 2 here, right? So, 2 into 2 omega, you will get 4 omega. Am I right? Yes. Again, we are going to take this as uh, that is um, sine instead of uh, this omega when you substitute 2 into 2 pi divided by t and you can also substitute that is upper limit is t okay so into t okay 
and you will get minus when you substitute this uh, uh, lower limit you will get sin 0 so what will you get now again this t and t get cancelled 1 by 2 into t that is t by half you will get right then uh, this one will become 1 divided by 4 omega then sin 4 pi minus sin 0 okay so actually the whole term will become 0 because sin 4 pi is also 0 and again this is also 0 so the remaining term you will get as I will write here children so t by 2 that is half into t it is nothing but t by 2 minus 1 by 4 omega 0 minus 0 so the integral part will become only t by 2 we will get right so when you integrate this I will write it the final answer will be you will get only t by 2 ok now we are going to substitute this uh, integral 0 to t sin square omega t into dt in this equation ok that is what will you get now so I will write here q is equal to q is equal to i square r into that is i m square r into d by 2 hope all of you understood up to this right and let us consider this is our equation number 1 this is the most important formula q is equal to i square m r into t by 2 if i be the root mean square value of alternating current Okay, so if I be the root mean square. value of alternating current then q is equal to i square r t ok so take this is your equation number so when you equate uh, 1 and 2, equation number 1 and 2, so equating one and two, so you will get i square r into t is equal to already you know that i square m r into t by 2 ok so can you cancel this r and r and t and t yes so what will you get now i square is equal to i square m by 2 or else i is equal to i m divided by root 2 ok so this can be 1 by root 2 value is 0 0.707 7 i m ok so we can say that the root mean square or virtual value of ac current is 0 0.70 times the peak value of alternating current ok so I will write here children the root mean square The root mean square or virtual value of alternating current is zero point seven zero 
zero point seven zero seven times the peak value of alternating current and similarly we can find what is the rms value of alternating voltage also again you will get uh, the rms value of alternating voltage is 0.70 times its peak value so now uh, this rms value can also be uh, represented by graphically okay so let me draw the diagram children here the rms value of i is uh, related to the peak value so this can be drawn graphically so i'll draw the graph here so this is also very very important how can we represent this so i told you already that the current or voltage which varies sinusoidally okay so sine wave function so So let us consider this is zero, pi, two pi, likewise. Okay. So this can be omega t, and here we have taken current I. So this will be our peak value. So I M, okay, and this will be here I, and again maximum current in the reverse direction. Okay, so that's all about this root mean square value of alternating. Correct. Similarly, I told you that we can also find what is the RMS value of alternating voltage. Also, to receive our online lessons, please press the subscribe button, and you will receive the latest updates. Thank you, students.